if a pore gets clogged up and the remains and stays crossed, you'll be left with what we call a blackhead or a commando. Hi guys, Dr. Kamau again and welcome to today's talk on skin health. In my last video, I did mention that all types of acne start with clogged pores. Normally, if a pore gets clogged up and remains closed, you end up with a white bump or what we call a white head. If a pore gets clogged up and remains and stays closed, you'll be left with what we call a blackhead or a commando. Uh, actually, blackheads, they, appear, they appear dark not because they are dirty, but just because the body's natural oil has been exposed to air. There are instances where you find that the wall of the clogged pores, they have opened, allowing the dead skin cells, the bacteria, together with the body's natural oil, to make their way under the skin. And you are left with what we call a red bump or a pimple. And actually pimples, they are bigger than blackheads and the whiteheads, and they appear to have pus at the top. There is also a scenario whereby you'll find the clogged pores, they have opened very deep in the skin, causing the nodules. And the nodules are just infected lumps and cysts. And actually, nodules, they can be very painful and they are bigger than the pimples. Uh, to put it in more understandable way, uh, we have uh, two types of acne. Uh, and that is the mild and mild to moderate acne, what we call the blackheads and the whiteheads. Uh, the nodules, the cysts and the pimples, they are the severe forms of acne. Changing direction to the body parts that are mostly affected by acne, we have the face, especially the forehead, uh, the neck, the shoulders, the chest, and the back, especially the upper part of your back. And the reason is because those body areas, they tend to have most of oil glands. You'll tend to find that the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet, they have very few oil glands, if any. Uh, finally, I would like to talk about the groups that are most commonly affected by acne. But you'll tend to find that acne occurs at any age but the group that is most commonly affected are the teenagers. And it's mainly due to the changing hormones in their body that tend to stimulate now the oil glands to make excess oil. But uh, it's worth mentioning that um, fluctuations of hormones, that is during menstruation, pregnancy, and also around that time in menopause can actually lead to acne. There are also other factors or conditions that can worsen acne, uh, like uh, the peaking of the nodules, the cysts, and the pimples. We also have the use of oily cosmetics that can clog your pores, the long-term use of the steroids, um, and emotional stress, just to mention but a few. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, concern, or comment, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I would be pleased to answer them.